Evolution is a description of our origins as a kind of life form, and it is quite simply inescapable truth. Every certain fact gleaned from our observation of the universe reveals a system where quantums of energy pass through time and through stages of complexification. On Earth, some four billion years ago, a chain of that complexification achieved the rare attribute of self-regeneration or reproduction. We call such matter life and describe it as biology, yet it remains in substance just chemistry, which is in turn just more rudimentary universal physics. Matter is energy contained in a controlled relationship or arrangement, and living matter is just a demonstration of how complex that arrangement can become with the passage of enough time. Time provides the universe the opportunity to perform experiments and to incrementally build on what has been incrementally built. The creation of life is but a possible consequence of the evolution of energy, and the evolution of life is but an extension of the experimentation and incremental building through the added functionality of consumption and variable reproduction. All life forms have this crude origin, and for a minuscule percentage of the process, we have been bestowed with the opportunity to contemplate and understand this truth. The open question is, will we seize any value out of that opportunity? I mean, let's look at what we are. Let's look at where we came from. Let's look what we were 10,000 years ago and what are we were functioning to do. What, what are we based on? We're based on a device, a machine that was invented by nature billions of years ago that consumes and reproduces. And that's what it does. It doesn't do anything else. It consumes and reproduces. It doesn't have any other mission. That's our Adam on our Eve. No mission besides that. Consume and reproduce, period. And that blueprint is still inside of us. So intelligence, I think, looking at the whole thing, would say nature sucks. It's not that complicated. It's a simple ethic. There's all this deprivation and need created, and then it satisfies a little tiny portion of it. And in the process of satisfying that little portion of it, it consumes in harsh ways these other organisms. Um, they are eaten alive. They are their sensibilities brutalized. The horror is not only unimaginable on an individual scale, as a collective amount of horror that has taken place, there's no way to incorporate into our intellect. There's no way we can even put it on the scales. The mass is so huge. So certainly it sucks. It's a shitty design. Only an idiot would validate it. And what's your argument? How would you expect anything else? How could nature do anything else but suck likely? And in all likelihood, it doesn't have a god running it. It doesn't have an intelligence running it. The underlying forces are really simple. So how could we expect anything close to perfection? That's not what crude forces create. They don't create perfection.